My commentary is family friendly, but this game is rated M by the ESRB. What is up, all you third gamers? Welcome back to some more third gamer plays Skyrim. Now, when we last left off, we got out of that cave back there. Yes, that's right, we made it out of Helgen. We survived the dragon attack. Old Holgrim here. And now the world has opened up to us. It's getting late in the evening. Night is approaching pretty quickly, and yeah, so I made a decision between last video and this video. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I had mentioned that there was a mod that I was tempted to use. Um, at least I think it was last video. It could have been the video I put out that talks about the mods I'm using for this series. And uh, anyway, it gives you 50,000 gold to start out. It's called Rich, Head, uh, Rich Start... Um, and I was pondering it, and I was debating whether or not I wanted to use it, and I've decided I do want to use it. So it's included in the description, and it's in this stump right here, where we can read this stash note, take our 50,000 gold, and just like that, we now have a whole mess of stuff. Uh, books? Yep. Um, let's see. Read. Dear friend... We robbed the cellar, and just like you said, they had riches of unimaginable value. We have fenced the goods and taken our share. We leave the rest to you. I hope you find this before some luckily, lucky dry scales do. Farewell, friend. And that's all the letter says. So now we have the 50,000 gold. Now you probably are wondering, well, why do you have the 50,000 gold? Why did you decide to get the 50,000 gold? And it's pretty simple. There is a DLC for Skyrim called Hearthfire, where you can build your own house. Um, and I want to be able to do that. And a lot of the materials needed to build said house are expensive. And so I wanted to have the gold right off the bat. Um, that way, I don't really have to worry about that aspect. Now, I'm still going to be collecting gold everywhere we go. And... Uh, I might not spend a lot of it, just something to have when we get to that portion of the game. So anyway, I figured out that our next course of action would be to get to Riverwood. Um, if we come to our journal here, and we can look at our quest before the storm, Hadvar suggested that I head to the nearby town of Riverwood. His uncle is the blacksmith there and should be able to help me. Which is fancy, and it's all fine and dandy, but uh, Holgrim here's got a little bit of an exploration uh, itch, and he wants to take mushrooms off of trees. So anyway, we're going to try and get to Riverwood here. You can already see there's some giant barrow-looking thing over there. Oh, look at a bunny! But we're also going to try and discover some stuff. Namely... Elgin's that way. Falkreath and Riverwood. Yeah, we can go that way. Something just killed a deer. A wolf. Arrrr. Hi, Mr. Wolf. Did you want to play real quick? I'm I'm going around. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess you didn't really want to play. That's fine. Now I'm over encumbered? What am I care? Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'm carrying two longbows, and I just can't have that, so goodbye. Just gonna leave that there next to your wiggling body. Wiggling. Is there any other wolves? I was expecting another wolf, but I don't see anything. Oh, I just... Oh, I can eat you. And I can eat you, too. Ha ha ha. We discovered weakness to poison... And I can take the hot... Oh, wow, I'm like all glowy and stuff because I'm poisoned. Mushrooms! Mush... Oh, that doesn't count. Okay, I'm still all poisoning and stuff here. I'm still a little heal, a heal. Heal myself up a little bit, a little bit of healing. Okay, now I wanted to discover... Th oh, I wanted to discover this. I changed the controls around try and make it a little easier and now I'm getting confused from what I had before so throughout Skyrim ow 
It's fine. It's just my legs. There are these standing stones. And they give you attributes. So we can activate the thief stone. We're under the sign of the thief. We'll learn stealth skills 20% faster. Cancel. Um, then we can also activate the mage stone where we'll learn magic skills 20% faster. Cancel. And then we can activate the warrior stone where we will learn combat skills 20% faster. I'm going to go with this one for now. It's activated and it shoots off into the heavens, changing our DNA and making it so that we're more powerful when we hit things with bits of wood with metal on the end. I mean weapons. Anyway, so Riverwood's over that way, but I figured before we got there, we could get up here to this mine. That's what this icon in the center of our little mini-map is. It's a mine. Ember shard mine. Got some, some wood places, man, and woodcutter's axe. Oh, hello! No, this is a surprise. Hey, I see you have a an axe that's better than mine. I'm gonna take it off your body, and um, to exchange it, I will give you this. And because this weighs 24 pounds, and I'm about to go into a dungeon, I'm also going to give you that. Okay. So now, we have a fancy new steel war axe. Quickly going to favorite it and select it. It does 10 damage, where our other did less, and that's fantastic. It also looks prettier. It's far prettier. So, Ember Shard Mine. Hmm... Yeah, we're going to go on in. All right. We are in Embershard Mine. I'm going to go all sneaky and switch to my bow. Oh, no. No, I wanted to switch to it. Come on. Oh, those are arrows. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with me? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm a sneaking. Okay. I don't think I have a pickaxe on me, but you can come into these mines, and usually there are, um, there are, well, there's ore places. Activate torch scones. Oh, look, I have a torch. Cool. That is a trap. Activate. Ow. <laughs> uh, thought I was out of the way. Obviously not. Take some of that, because I'll need it when I go to make potions. And now I'm just sneaking, sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking. This again? I told you, we have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. So... Stop your worrying and get some rest. Your shift is coming up and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. I like how they're bandits, but yet they talk about this place like, Oh, well, yeah, I better get a nap. You know, it's time that uh, I gotta go clock in for my shift in this mine. It's important for the boss, you know. Skadoosh! Oh, I missed? How'd that miss? That one didn't. Go investigate your dead friend. Or you can run at me. Ow. Wow, I actually got one in your shield. That's pretty neat. Let me search your dead body. Um. You didn't have diddly squat. What's wrong with you people? Where's the gold? I need that gold. Yes, I have that mod that gives me the gold. Oh, well, at least you had a lockpick. Now, and here was where they were sleeping. This must be their little, uh, employee's lounge. Looks a bit rough. Oh, look, iron ore. And conveniently, a pickaxe. I think, with the pickaxe now in my inventory, I can just push Y 
Yep, I will stand up and I will then, yep, go to town. I've been working in the iron ore vein all the live long 20 seconds or so. And just like that, it's over. Cool beans. You could also search this pot. Search that pot. But they're both empty. So they must have had their dinner snack beforehand. Alright, go back to sneaking. Draw my bow. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Alright, so I've got to pull that lever up there to get this bridge to activate so I can proceed forward. I'm guessing... Ooh, I can take that arrow back. That when he died here, his shield fell here. Yes, because it says search bandit. All I can say to that aspect is Bethesda. And I'm moving on. Oh. We can go down this way. But it looks like uh, this guy didn't make it. Harvest that. Take that coin purse. Tattered journal. Read. They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak section of the tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforce with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Ah, uh, yes. And it then collapsed on him and he died. Obviously, this place does not have very good worker safety. Mm-hmm. And for that, I'm going to have to shoot them all in the face with arrows. I'm going to go ahead and activate this lever. The bridge drops down. I thought we had a guard posted outside. We did. Your eyes peel. Don't think we're alone. You check the entrance. I'm going to look over here. Interesting. No. He's over there. Oh, well, I increased my sneak. And leveled up in the process. Oh, boy. Hold on. Freeze time. Just gonna pull this out real quick and... Hi, how are you? I killed your friend. Oh, you missed. Let me heal up real fast. Hold on. Hold on. Be right... Ah. All right, you're dead. Oh yeah, I did shoot you with an arrow as you proceeded to come at me, bro. I'm going to take your steel mace, and in its place, I'm going to give you these three iron maces in exchange. Okay. All right. All right, okay. They're dead. Time to move back this way. We went down there. And now we're going to come over this map, this bridge here to another section. Go back to Sneaky Sneaky and switch to my bow. Do, 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 do. Hello. Don't mind me. Just your resident Holgrim the Red taking clairvoyance and your iron dagger. Now, if we go and we look at our items, we go down to books. Clairvoyance. It shows the path to the current goal. This is a really good spell to have early on. I'm going to go ahead and use it. That way I know it. Can I shoot you through the gate? No. No. But he opened the gate to come in, and then I shot him with sneak damage. Oh, that was beautiful and very classic Skyrim. Man, we're going to have a lot of this fly amanita to make something with, assuming that, uh, you know. Hey, that comes in handy. A meat pie. Oh, boy, a meat pie. I'm going to take that, yeah. Iron arrow. 
All right, and here's their little treasure room. They've got some tomatoes. And potatoes. I'm going to take those. Search this sack. Oh, they've got four potatoes. Better take all the potatoes. They also have an iron war hammer and an iron greatsword. And then they have a chest, a nice big chest, which has steel armor. Sweet glory. Circlet of minor illusion. Novus robes of illusion. And I'm going to take that steel armor. Holy cow. What am I wearing? I am wearing light armor. Wow, I didn't realize I had so much stuff. Okay, uh, I have 12 of those. How'd I get 12 of them? I don't, oh wait, no, I, I guess actually we did technically kill 12. Um, store 12 of those. And now I lost a whole lot of weight immediately. Okay, so let's take a look, see at my apparel. Gonna go over here and just temporarily at least gonna equip that. Go ahead and stand up and let's take a look. Put my weapon away and turn around. Yes, oh, that looks much better. It goes with my gauntlets better. My shoes need a little work, but that's fine. That's fine. Holgrim looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Back at it. Stay focused. Don't get too distracted. We've got to kill these dudes. What's this way? A whole lot of bucket. Okay. Moving on. Hello? Is anybody home? It's me. It's fine that you don't know who me is. I just started the game a little while ago, and, uh, you know, so I'm kind of new to this whole thing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Someone there? I don't know how the first one didn't hit him. But it didn't. Oh no! Ow! Push the wrong... Ow! Pain. Suffering. Oh, man. Uh, he's, uh... He's, he's a big boy there. He's got a big ol' axe and... Ow. But I swing faster. And I like... Where'd it go? Oh, you have a... Steel Warhammer. I'll take that. And in its place, I'll give you... Wait, no, it's apparel. I need weapons. I will give you... This Iron Greatsword. You're welcome. Okay, well that was fun. He chased me around a little bit. I heal myself up, put my weapons away. I don't think there's anybody left in here. Doopa doopa doopa. Let's take a quick look around. We've got light armor forging, which increases my smithing. I'm going to take that because it's worth money. And then we've got iron ore. Cool. I will always happily take free ore. Search bandit. He had some gold on him, finally, and a steel mace and an iron arrow, which was mine from the beginning, and I will be very thankful to have that back. Okay, so... That looks like that's Simber Shard mine. And I think... Yeah, if we come back over this way, this should get us out... I'm going to go check that guy's body, because that's where he was chilling out. Oh, look. Mmm, charred skeever, but I will take your bread. And look around up here real quick. Oh, got another storeroom, which has... Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. I haven't even done a quest that gives you all the gems. Extra chest with gold potions, and don't care about the sword. 
All right. That was that was excellent. And hey there, bandit. Man, I shot you right through your gut. Well, the arrow's gone now, so you can't see. Hello. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel. It takes me out here. Iron ore. To secret tunnels. Oh, gotta unlock it. Okay, let's try it. Nope. Here? No. Have it. No. Have it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Have it here. Nope. Okay. Here. Yes. I didn't even break that lockpick. Hey, Iron Helmet. It is the helmet of the game. Whoosha. I'll take it. And a torch in a wooden box, because that makes the most sense. Uh, let's go ahead and get this ore real quick. Doop, doop, boop, bop, boop, ba chow. That's a one. And then a shoop, a dop, a doop, bop, a dee, bop, chow. And that's a two. And then, then maybe. Wow. It's not that big. I wouldn't have expected it to have taken that long. Okay. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. I believe now we can just skedaddle. This should take us back outside. Because that's how most Skyrim dungeons operate. Is that this will take us to Skyrim. Okay, here we are. Outside. And actually, it looks like we're closer to Riverwood than we were before. Well, that actually worked out really nicely. Huh. Well, I'll be danged. Okay. That is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Next video, we are going to go into Riverwood. We're going to continue on with that story meet up with Hadvar. Can't see if we get that first quest at least conquered because there's more stuff to do from Riverwood itself. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this exciting episode of Skyrim, make sure you click that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new, and I will see you next time for more Third Gamer Plays Skyrim. <laughs>